Hi guys, welcome to Engineer's YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I'll be your host for today's video. So for today's video, we will be discussing a closed system type of problem and it is isothermal. So the question states that a sample consisting of two moles of helium is expanded isothermally and reversibly at 22 degrees Celsius from 22.8 cubic decimeter to 31.7 cubic decimeter. Calculate Q, W, delta H, and delta U. So we know that Q is the heat, W is the work, delta H is the change in enthalpy, and delta U is the change in internal energy. So for this problem, what I'll do is to find work first because it's the easiest to find among four. First, so ayan. First, we have to do is what we have to do is get, list down the given values. So we know that n is equal to two moles, and um, temperature is constant at twenty two degrees Celsius, and then V one is twenty two point eight cubic decimeter, and uh, V two is equal to thirty one point seven cubic decimeter. So, ang required natin is Q, W, delta, delta H, and delta U. So, delta H, which is the change in enthalpy, and delta U, which is the change in internal energy. Okay? So, like I said earlier, the first thing I'll find is work. Why? Because work, as we know, is equal to negative the negative integral of P dV. Okay? But in this problem, it's not pressure that's constant. It is temperature. So we have to express P such that um, it'll have the constant terms. And what we'll do is use the ideal gas law. So PV is equals to nRT. And we know sa, sa equation na to, that everything on the right side here is constant, like T is constant, R is a universal gas constant, and N is constant as well. Why? Because in a closed system, there is no exchange of matter between the system and the surroundings. So yung number of moles mo is also constant. So um, the, the only two things that change is P and V. So ang gagawin natin ngayon is express P in terms of NRT, and then you put the V underneath. Kasi yung V mo dito, nilagay mo siya sa ilalim. And okay lang to, kahit hindi siya constant, kasi yung dV mo, it means the change in volume. So yung work na to, it'll be, um, it will correspond to the change in volume. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to apply um, the rules in calculus to find the, fo the formula for work in an isothermal system. So ang work natin then becomes um, negative nRT. Alam natin na ito lang yung tatlong constant here. So, ilalabas natin siya sa integral. And then, the integral of dV over V. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to apply other rules of calculus. So, we know that um, dx over x is ln x. But if there's a boundary like... Um, Let's say here is x1 and then here x2. From x1 to x2, then ln x is calculated from x1 to x2. So then it becomes ln x2 minus ln x1. And applying loss of logarithm, we know that ln x2 minus ln x1 is equal to ln x2 over x1. Okay, and this is the law of logarithm. This is the uh, rules of calculus. So yeah, combining all of that, we have from here we know that it is um calculated from v1 to v2. Okay, so then your work becomes negative nRT um ln v2 over v1. All right, like here we just apply these rules or these processes here. Sa closed system equation natin. So from there, you can just substitute these values here. So then, your work becomes negative 2 mole multiplied by R. You can use 8.314 kasi ang units niya ay naka-joules na. And work is usually expressed in terms of joules. So 
8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And then T, temperature. We cannot use degree Celsius. Why? Kasi ang unit natin here sa R is over mole Kelvin. So this one is not in Kelvin. So we have to convert it pa to Kelvin para makancel yung units later. So 22 plus 273.15 Kelvin. Okay? And then LN of V2. Ito convenient siya kasi yung units mo for volume is the same. You have to remember that when you are in, you're putting two values or like a fraction inside a ln or other log functions, you have to take note or you have to be careful to put the same um, units kasi makakancel off siya, should be. Kasi if not, then there is something wrong with the ratio. It's not appropriate. Kapag... Uh, Kasi ang ratio natin is a comparison between two values. For example, etong dm mo, hindi siya naka-dm cube. For example, naka-meter cube siya. Hindi mo siya compare sa value na naka-dm cube. Kasi mas maliit yung dm cube sa meter cube. You have to make sure that they are consistent before you can compare. Kasi your goal, dapat ay makancel siya later. Okay? So, yan. Ln v2, which is 31.7 dm cube over 22. 0.8 dm cube. So now we will cancel the units. So yung moles maka cancel, yung Kelvin maka cancel, and the units inside the ln will cancel off each other. So ang unit natin for work then becomes joules. Okay? And joules. So yung work natin, let's calculate together, is negative 2 times 8.314 times 22 plus 273.15. They're both inside the parentheses. And then LN of 31.7 over 22.8. Then your work is negative 1,617.380554 joules. So meron na tayong value sa so, isa sa mga pinapahanap sa atin, which is the cube. I mean, work. Check. We have that. So, ngayon, we will um, find the change in enthalpy and the change in internal energy. You'll see kung bakit pa sila inuna. So, uh, isothermal system. In an isothermal. We know that Delta T is zero. So in a thermal system, delta T is zero. Okay? Kasi consistent siya. So constant. So T2 minus T1, it's the same. Like for this problem, 22 minus 22 is zero. Diba? And ang, fun ang function natin na internal energy, ang function na internal energy which is delta U, as we know, is a function of temperature as well. So, it's N, C, V, delta T. And ano yung delta T natin? Zero. So, yung delta U mo, in an isothermal system, is also zero. Likewise, the change in enthalpy, delta H, is equal to N, C, P, delta T. And uh, like I said here, delta T natin is zero. So, yung delta H mo is zero as well. So, just like that, we found another two. Um, another two. We found another two na pinapahanap sa atin. Yung delta H and delta U. Check na siya. So, ano na lang yung natitira work? Ay, heat, sorry. So, para mahanap natin yung heat, what we'll do is to use this equation. We know that Q plus W, so heat plus work, is equals to the change in internal energy, delta U. And we know that this is zero. So Q is just equals to the negative work. We transpose this to the other side. It becomes negative. So Q is equal to negative work. And meron na tayong value for negative work. So ano ang Q natin? Q natin then becomes negative of negative 1617.380554 joules. So Q is just the positive work. No? So, 
So it's 1617.38055. Four joules. We found the last one. You know, delta U and delta H is zero. Okay? So now we have found the four. You notice a pattern. In an isothermal system, if, it's a, if, it, if it is an expansion, then work is negative. Tapos yung heat mo is positive. And delta H and delta U are zero. Kung compression naman siya, work is positive. Pero yung heat mo is negative. Pero yung delta H and delta U mo will remain as zero in an isothermal closed system. So, ayun. That's our, that's our solution for the problem. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye!